Sri Lanka Medical Association, Ceylon College of Physicians and Sri Lanka College of Microbiologists have requested the government to increase RT-PCR testing capacity to 1,500 tests per day. The current strategy of COVID-19 prevention is very unique to Sri Lanka, where the close contacts of patients are detected very early and quarantined, therefore suppressing the spread of the disease. And the success of this unique policy is evident by the fact that the COVID-19 transmission in Sri Lanka is still at stage 3. Early detection and contact tracing is crucial in suspect suppressing an epidemic. And in Sri Lanka, the test that is recommended by WHO to diagnose this disease is called RT-PCR, which can detect the virus RNA gene sequence at a very early stage and at almost 100% accuracy. However, a detection of antibodies to diagnose COVID-19 also have been suggested. And the reasons for justification are cited as it's easy to test and shorter time of using and can be used in point of care and relatively lesser cost. However, the problem is it may take one or two weeks for the body to develop antibodies for the infection. Therefore, the patients at early stages of the disease will be missed. And these patients who are tested negative can be very infectious. This can be a very dangerous situation. Similarly, these antibodies can react with antibodies of similar diseases and that can give false positive results. These false positive and false negative results can put epidemiological planning of control into a total disarray. However, these rapid antibody testing may have a role in doing surveillance after epidemic is over or detecting unrecognized previous infection or immunity. However, the current need of the country as far as the suppression of the uh, disease is concerned, the most appropriate test is the RT-PCR test which I have mentioned previously. Therefore, what we recommend is using the current RT-PCR testing which directly detect the genetic sequence and increasing the capacity of testing to about 1,500 per day and to cover the first level of contacts. This will address the current uncertainty regarding the number of asymptomatic patients. And we suggest that any shift of the current policy of testing for COVID-19 should be considered within broader framework of current successful public health process and the strategy and not as a single technical point. Meanwhile, the PCR testing machine, which was imported from India to conduct tests for dengue and influenza before the outbreak of the coronavirus, is now at the Kegol Hospital. COVID-19 virus is a very important thing. The successful method at present to test whether a patient has been affected by COVID-19 is the PCR test. However, the problem with this test is that it will take between four to six hours to see the results. Therefore, we have installed a machine which is capable of doing the PCR test in a convenient manner at the Kegol Hospital. We got this eight months ago through the Ministry of Health before the coronavirus had originated. The main advantage of this is that the results can be obtained within one and a half hours. This machine was manufactured by an Indian company. A week ago, this company was able to manufacture a chip that could be used to conduct PCR tests through this machine. However, the Indian government has suspended sending any products relating to the coronavirus out of the country. If we can discuss with the Indian government and get this machine, then we will be able to do these tests quickly. The Indian government has confirmed that this is an effective test and that this machine produces results which match the results of the PCR tests. This machine is there only at the Kegol General Hospital. We request to implement this rapid test as a pilot project in Kegol. This will assist us to identify the people who have the virus in their body. We have to identify them in order to curb the spread of the virus. We request the government to draw its attention towards this requirement. A vaccine that was developed a hundred years ago to fight the tuberculosis in Europe is now being tested against the COVID-19 by scientists. Researchers are also testing the vaccine to see if it can give a boost to the immune system. 
Clinical trials of the Bacille Calmet Guarin or the BCG vaccine, which was first developed in the early 1920s, are planned in Europe and Australia to see if it can help reduce the prevalence and severity of COVID-19 symptoms. The researchers at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute in Melbourne said, quote, although originally developed against tuberculosis and still given to over 130 million babies annually for that purpose, BCG also boosts humans' frontline immunity, training it to respond to germs with greater intensity, unquote. Meanwhile, preliminary studies point out that countries with mandatory policies to vaccinate against tuberculosis register fewer coronavirus deaths than countries that don't have those policies in place. The College of Otorino Laryngologists and Head and Neck Surgeons of Sri Lanka, in a special message to the general public, has emphasized the importance of avoiding certain accidents related to ear, nose and throat during the prevailing situation in the country. The association added that most of the ears, nose and throat procedures, also known as ENT procedures, have been avoided or postponed as there is a high risk of the virus being transmitted from one to another during the procedure. The medical association added, in the event of an emergency, ENT procedures will be conducted using full protective gear which are currently in short supply in many parts of the world including Sri Lanka. However, the general public can contact hospitals and ENT doctors to clarify any inquiry in this regard. The association also emphasizes the importance of avoiding home accidents related to the ear, nose or throat.